Okay, back on the Sonati unit again. Is it Sonati? Yeah, Sonati. And that's where we think it is. On, let's go a bit more uh, curve on the old uh, angle of the. So you're getting dizzy now. I'm getting dizzy. So much fat, it's literally just gone off the scale on that joint. And uh, I need another arm. See if we can get in there with the old. Oh dear. You'd think after all the years I've been doing this, I'd be better at filming things, wouldn't you? Uh, can you see that? It just looks on the back of that. Can we zoom in? Maybe if we put the uh, light a bit higher up. It's got a sort of there we are, it's didn't quite can't quite see, but it just looks like right on the back of that joint is where the braze hasn't gone in the gone in there properly. So I think that's where it is. We try a bit of some bubbles on there. Um, Let's see if we can get some bubbles on there, but we were getting that to beep just uh, just before I went to get the camera. It's often the way with these electronic detectors. Anyway, okay, it's not very clear. If I zoom in a bit, oh, yeah, it's on the back, it's just not braised very well. We were getting something off of that with the leak detector, so. And it's right at the top where all the oil is seems to be coming from. Let's zoom out again. The whole compressor body is wet, um, and this pipe look up here is fairly dry, so I don't think it's come from further up. <coughs> so it's just run down the outside, I think. Um, we'll get the gas took out of it to see how much is in there. grams and it holds a kilo so there's probably another few grams to take it down to a vacuum or to bring it up to zero so it's about 15-20% short so it's not a very big leak unless it's been topped up recently um, so this is a replacement compressor because it's got the Comtec warranty label on it so that's been changed um, but it doesn't appear to have changed the dryer because that looks like a factory cable tie might not be, but it does look like it, and it's silver soldered in. Um, not many people bother silver soldering stuff. Anyway, so we got brazing that up, and then we'll check this one as well while we're in there. Well, it's not pretty. Uh, I think we've got it. It looks better around the back where that little suspect pinhole was. Um, got all the gas out of it, and then the trouble we were having was. Our discharge pipe shot off by two solenoids, so we still had a tiny bit of pressure in there. And then even with a magnet on that valve, it, and the, there's a check valve there I didn't realise. 
So it couldn't get rid of the uh, one or two PSI in there through that check valve, so then we had to swap to that further solenoid, which is open to the condenser, which we've got that port open there. So uh, yeah, we got it warm and it just blew a hole in it. Anyway, hopefully that's got it. That other one looks looks okay. So really, I think if I was doing this from new, I'd take the top off and the fans. It'd be easier to get in there, or even brace that piece of piping on the floor and then join it, which might be what they've done actually, because they've got a joint up here. That would make more sense. Right, leak check that, we've got 400 pounds in there. Uh, it's not leaking, so get the vacuum pump going. So we've got a bad condenser fan motor on that. Let's unplug it. Okay, <coughs> back up and running. I'm giving the coil a wash out. Put some coil cleaner on there, got rid of that oil stain. There's still a little mark on there, but it doesn't make you think there's a leak when you look at it. And then we put about 20 litres of water through there to wash the chemical out. So now the fans are only just cycling. Um, because the condenser's cool, it's covered in water. They don't drain very well, these things, so it's not the water just stays in them. It'll dry out eventually. Room temp, it was 8 I think when we turned it on, 